What's up guys, it's Cassie and Sarah, and today we're talking about the haunted Stanley Hotel where The Shining originated. So if you like watching murder mysteries, urban legends, or paranormal stories, make sure you hit that subscribe button and keep on watching. The Stanley Hotel was built by inventor Freeland Oscar Stanley, who moved out to Colorado hoping that the fresh air and plentiful sunlight would relieve his tuberculosis. When he arrived in 1903, he was weak and underweight, but after just one season, hotel staff says his health was restored. The hotel says Stanley was so overjoyed that he vowed to return each summer and ended up building the hotel to bring a level of sophistication to the region. The elite 420 room retreat opened in 1909. During in the years since his death in 1940, the apparition of Mr. Stanley reportedly has appeared to be spotted in the billiard room and bar, while his late wife Flora Stanley, a pianist, sometimes can be heard tickling the ivories in the empty music room. While some spots are more spiritually active than others, guests have reported strange occurrences, shadowy figures, eerie laughter, flickering lights, and items moving on their own in every room on the hotel compound which includes a century-old lodge and concert hall. I always tell my tour group I've investigated castles, dungeons, and buildings older than the U.S., and the Stanley Hotel is on the top of that list, said author and part-time paranormal investigator Richard Estep. I'm convinced the Stanley is one of the more active locations out there, he said. They deeply love this hotel. As hauntings go, the hotel is something of a phenomenon. Usually haunted locations have a history with lots of blood and death, but the Stanley doesn't have that, which often takes people aback, Estep said. They want to know how many deaths have occurred here, and it's about as many as other hotels. Not that many. And so, and Estep is saying that they love the hotel so much that, you know, they just stuck around for the afterlife. Which, like, makes sense, I think, because, like, I think I've heard that, that not only do people, like, stay in places where they might have been, like, killed or whatever, but they also go back to places that they once, like, really love. Mm-hmm. So. Um, which is, like, kind of cool. And I also find it interesting that, like, people always think that, like, the Stanley has been a place where tons of people have been, like, murdered and, like, brutally killed. Yeah. But, like, it's not. Mm -mm. Like, it's, they said that the hotel had about as many deaths as any other hotel. So, like, so not, not many. that many. Like, I don't just, think, like, accidents yeah. and things like that. But, um, I don't know if we talk about it yet uh, or at all. But, like, in the Stanley Hotel... There's like this staircase that goes like up to the next levels, and there's like a vortex, which I think oh is yeah, like I don't why, think it's in here yet. Yeah, which I think is why like part of it, or at least that area, mm -hmm. is so haunted. So a vortex, for those of you who don't know, is like mirrors facing each other, and people say that like that's like a opening to like a portal to like the afterlife, afterlife. or whatever. So that part in the hotel is like very haunted, and people see like ghosts or apparitions or whatever there all um, the time we need to get on that i know we need to go yeah we're definitely sharing one bed so if i get scared <laughs> i'm spooning you oh speaking of that um let's see let me see if it's in this next section <sighs> yeah so this is in this next section about just remember that sarah and i possibly sharing a bed because we're scared Think about that, okay. The location certainly has seen trauma, however. In the 1920s, a gas leak led to an explosion in room 217 that destroyed the second floor above the main dining hall and nearly killed a chambermaid, Elizabeth Wilson. She ultimately recovered and returned to her job, which she held until her death at the age of 90 in her home in Estes Park. Soon after, the hotel started receiving reports of a spectral chambermaid hovering and walking through closed doors in the rebuilt guest quarters. Unmarried couple sharing a bed complained of an invisible force wedging them apart as they slept, and single men woke to find their bags had been packed and left outside the door. Mrs. Wilson does what she wants to who she wants, Estep said. The spirits aren't limited to adults. Tour guides say the ghost of a child with autism also roams the grounds and is known to play with the hair of guests. Staff says the boy named Billy is drawn to people who work with those with autism or are familiar with a developmental disorder. On the fourth floor, guests have also reported hearing children running around laughing and playing. Guides say that's where nannies and the kids they watched would spend much of their time back in the day. Despite numerous sightings of spectral youths on the hotel's fourth floor, 
Records show no child ever died there. Places get ghosts for different reasons, such as tragedy or bloodshed, but also people tend to haunt places where they were very happy during their lifetimes, Estep said. I sense we're seeing people coming back because they deeply love this hotel. Generally speaking, wherever you find people, you find ghosts and vice versa. Now going back to when we told you, think about me and Cassie in bed together. Well, don't think about that. <laughs> think Not about in the dirty way. Think about us sharing a bed because we're terrified, which yeah. would 100% happen. So they said that, like, couples who weren't married, so, like, obviously we're not married, but we're also not a couple, um, would be split apart in their sleep. That would be terrifying. Could you imagine? You're just, like, sleeping. And, and then all of a sudden. your body moving, and you're like. Bump. No, what I'm picturing is, okay, we're sleeping, and all of a sudden, somebody just. <laughs> and I'll be like, ooh, ooh. I watch the Conjuring movies, and yeah. I'm so freaked out now. <laughs> I'm just like. Good, right? I wake up, and I just look at the end of my bed to make yeah. sure nothing is yeah. there, and I'm just like. <sighs> Men would find their bags, like, outside the door. She must have. I don't know if her husband did something to her in the past where she's like, I don't know, gotta go. It might have been, like, the whole, like, during that time, I don't think it was common for, like, unmarried couples mm -hmm. to, like, spend the night together yeah. or whatever. So, probably because she was born in, you know, the early 1900s, like, that wasn't right to her, so that was, like, her thing. Like, no, that's not appropriate type deal. We'll have to. But, like. When we go, we're gonna have to be, like, we need a haunted room. Not all of the hotel's purported ghosts stand on two legs. There's a pet cemetery on the grounds that guides say is the final resting place of some of the owner's animals. Staff says the ghosts of a cat and dog have been seen roaming around. Stephen King explained that he was living in Boulder working on the stand when he and his wife took a weekend off from their kids. We ended up staying at a place called the Stanley Hotel, said King. It was their last day of the season. Everybody was leaving and nobody was coming in and we said, can we check in? An employee told King that they could stay if they could pay cash because the hotel had already sent its credit receipts back to Denver. King happened to have the money. We were the only people in that hotel and the wind was whistling outside and the rooms were all empty. Legend has it that during King's stay in room 217, he had a lucid nightmare about his young son being chased around the hotel. Guides say the author jerked out of bed, went outside to smoke a cigarette, and that's when he started to lay the groundwork for The Shining. Over the years, many people have claimed to have captured the ghosts of the hotel on camera. One instance was in 2016. During tours of the hotel, guides also share some of the photos that they say show the spirits. There's a pet cemetery. Mm-hmm. A little creepy. I mean, but also, that's one of Stephen King's books, Pet Cemetery. Yeah. So. Maybe that's where he got the idea for that, too. Maybe. But, like, I don't know, still a little creepy. Mm-hmm. But then, so, Stephen King went on a little vacation with his wife. To get away from the kids. Yeah. But then he had a nightmare about his kid in room 217 that he was getting chased down the hallway. Yeah. Which I think is, like... Isn't it supposed to be maybe, like, the equivalent of, like, the boy on the little tricycle? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's, like, like what that came from. But that's, like, so cool. Like, I wonder if, I don't know, like, the ghosts in the hotel had, like, something to do with that. Like, yeah. I don't know. I just think that's so cool that he just went there for, like, a quick little break. And he came up with, like, probably one of his biggest. Yeah. One of, yeah, I think like, it's like his biggest one. It's crazy. That's like our story, our, our... The Stanley Hotel. Yeah. Um, it's not like anything crazy, like The no. Conjuring, but I think it's cool to see where like some of like the scary movies and stories like came from. And mm -hmm. I think that, I don't know, I've heard a lot about The Stanley Hotel and that it's pretty creepy. So, I want to go there. I do too. Um, yeah, so let us know down below if you like the story or if mm -hmm. you want to hear other ones like it. Let us know if you have any suggestions, like ones that are similar to like The Conjuring or The Stanley Hotel. Maybe we should or the Queen Mary. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment on our video because it lets us know if you're liking our mm -hmm. content and if you want to see more of us. All our social media will be down in the description below. You guys yeah. should know that. If you yeah. don't, it's down in the below. Yeah. Turn on your post notifications so you get notified every time we post a video because, guys, our videos are great. And, um, sorry about, like, the lighting and stuff. We're trying to get We're that. working on it. We ordered some new 
equipment and chef's kiss lights it's they're, they're not, not here, here yet. yet um so like we know that probably from clip to clip it looks different but like we can't help it because the sun is coming through the windows and it's changing and we know it looks like crap we're trying we're trying it so bear with us until we get those we, we will see you guys next friday peace, peace.